Agife, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, my name is Elizabeth Usman and I represent the Baigi people. Baigi is an ethnic group who are predominantly found in central Nigeria areas with a population of about 5.6 million people. The threat is known as Baigi. They are the most populated ethnic and indigenous group in the federal capital territory of Nigeria and their major occupation is farming. The Osu king is the highest tier of authority in the Bagi settlement, and he is assisted by a group of elders. The Bagi people are known to be peace-loving, transparent, and accommodating people. Northerners are fond of saying in-house language, Muyenshinguari-nguari. Let's do it like the Bagi or Bagi way. According to Tan Konchigodu, the Bagi people have emerged as a unique breed among Nigerians. Their culture shows how much they have come to terms with the universe. Also, the people speak two dialects that are sometimes called Bari, Wari Yama, and Bagi dialects. The Bagi are culturally soaked people who, despite the overwhelming force of civilization, still cling to the basic rudiments of their culture. A few have remained aloof to the attraction of modernity, especially the older Bagians, who still stand strong against the devastating effects of civilization. For instance, in the past, the baggy women were distinguished with the way they carried any load on their shoulder, either heavy or light, because they have the belief that the hair should be accorded a royal status as the king of the entire body. Settled with the stacks of thinking for the body, so it should not be burdened with manual or pedestrian tax, such as ferrying goods from place to place. Another fabric of the culture that has suffered some degree of extinction is the process of marriage. In time past, a suitor seeking the hand of a girl in marriage will have to devote seven years of his engagement on notice of interest on the bride-to-be to the father's farm and also supply grains to the bride's house in order to get her robust and ripe for Monday. Presently, the suitor goes ahead to pay bride price without serving notice to the father. The Bahri initial habitat was a mountain top and had eight kings crowned to rule over them. And the westernization brought in rain track. They decided and agreed among themselves to calm down, except for their forefathers, who opened that it was safer to stay on the mountaintop than the plains, as this would be easier to haul stones at advancing enemies. The mountains and rocks were a refuge, as well as a mystical source of strength. The Arbamayas festival is a celebration usually performed to welcome the rain during the rainy season. Whereas well, the bay is a traditional Christmas celebration. <laughs> Finally, the favorite food of the Baji is known as Waizi. In terms of dressing, Gwari people usually dress like cattle. They plant cotton on their farm, the material of which they used to fabricate the traditional clothes before the white people arrived in Gwari land. The Gwari have their own special dress weaved by them. Their woven wrapper clothes reflect dark black and not so bright colors.